Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be series, uh, the series that I have going on. So it's going to be series one, episode two. So the last episode, what we covered was first month living expenses in Canada. So on today's episode two, what we are going to be covering is my living expenses in Canada. So let's hop right into this video and if you guys are new to the channel don't forget we can stop right now we can hit the little red subscribe button don't forget to hit the notification button right there that's so you always know when I post a video a new video for you guys to see so let's just hop right into this video without further ado so my living expenses in Canada uh, what do I want to start with? Let's start with rent. Uh, rent is a good thing, you know, because it's the thing that's gonna help us to sleep at night. You know, we got a head, a roof over our head, you know, soft, warm place to live. Yeah, let's get there. So the rent that we pay a month is nine sixty five. So, like I said in our um, previous video, if you guys didn't watch that, I'd have a link right to the bottom so you guys can check out the prices in Canada um, on the rent. I do apologize for the noise in the back there, but yeah, so I pay $9.65 a month. Uh, they just went up on rent and uh, you know, they go up every month. I mean every year they're going up on rent because we're not on a contract. So when you come to Canada, you're going to have to sign like a lease. It's a one year lease. Uh, I think it's pretty hard to find a, a place that doesn't have like a one year lease because I think they try to lock you in for that one year. But yeah, so we were on a one year lease. Uh, we're on a month to month now. So at any particular, at any given time, we could just give our one month notice and tell them that, hey, we don't want to be here anymore. We just want to leave. Uh, yeah. So that's the type of way I feel. I mean, that's the reason why they could increase our monthly rent, our monthly rent every month. I mean, every year because um, we're on month to month. So we're not on contract, like locked into one particular price. So yeah. So that's how much we pay. Uh, our rent comes with rent, yeah, <laughs> place to live. Uh, semi furnished, it comes with uh, heat and hot water. So that leads me into our light bill. So we do pay light bill and we pay the internet bill. So for the light bill, uh, we get bills every two months. So instead of one month, we get it every two months. It's usually around 70 to $75 a month. It could go as low as $50 a month, just depending on how much we are here. Like in the summer when we are working like a full-time job because you could work full-time in the summer on a study permit uh, when we work full-time it's like um, it's like cheaper because we're here less and uh, we're using less stuff yeah so that's like max $75 a month uh, so I'm gonna hop into the internet bill after yeah so our internet bill we pay $65 a month only because we're students and we are with the provider Eastlink Eastlink is a provider for cell phones internet cable TV and all of that good stuff but we have in just internet with them and we pay 65 a month plus taxes taxes in uh, Nova Scotia is 15% so we just add the taxes onto that when we did not know about the student discount, we were paying like $100 plus taxes a month. So you guys should really definitely, uh, if you are a newcomer uh, on a study permit or new worker in Canada, you should definitely check out like uh, what, you know, student discounts. Yeah, so 65 a month. Uh, so yeah, that's basically our utilities in the apartment so what I'm going to hop on to now is the car insurance because we do have a car and if you guys would like but even if you don't like, I still have a series, uh, the ap uh, episode that's going to cover car, getting your license, insurance, and all of that good stuff. So a month, we pay $250 a month for our car insurance. I think the original price was like $2,700 a month, and that is only basic insurance. Uh, something we call third-party insurance, where if you hit a vehicle, it only covers the vehicle, but it does not cover your vehicle. Yeah. So uh, when we first got our car insurance, we had to pay like a 65, a 650 down payment, and that was that. Okay, so now let's hop on to servicing your car because we try to service our car every time it needs to be serviced. That's like every six months because you know when you have a car in Canada, you do have to keep it like the maintenance of the car because it snows a lot and underneath the car gets like rust. I hope I'm not talking too fast. 
but if I am and you want to slow it down you can just change the speed on the computer <laughs> and also like I say if you guys made it this far in the video don't forget to hit that subscribe button so service the car we went to the original dealer that the car would originally came from so it's like $75 uh, uh, time that you get it service and then uh, gas for the car so we do have a six cylinder we didn't know when we was buying it that it was a six cylinder so it has a double exhaust that means it has two mufflers at the back so to fill up the car would be like okay say for example we put $50 in the car it would take us a half so basically to fill up the whole car it's a hundred dollars basically uh, like maybe like 85 to 90 ish almost a hundred dollars to get the car on fully on F so for a month that would be like say if we just want to rough it up say two hundred dollars on gas a month excuse me on gas a month that we spend insurance is two fifty um okay I'm gonna total everything up at the end so we talked about car insurance the down payment we talked about servicing the car uh, Home insurance, uh, so not really home insurance, but apartment insurance. But this apartment that we have, uh, it does entitle us to get insurance on the apartment in case, unfortunately, if something was to ever happen, like a fire or a flood. So we have to cover our expenses or somebody was to break into our apartment. So we pay like $200 a year. I pay that um, one time. Like, you can do it in payment plans, but we just pay like one shot because it's only $200. Yeah. So, hmm. okay, so let's hop into grocery. Uh, what we do is we try to buy grocery. Well, when we didn't have a car, we tried to shop for grocery like every month. Okay, we got a sip. So, we tried to buy grocery like every month because we didn't have a car. And we'd have to catch like taxis, and taxis were like uh, $30 uh, from the Walmart to here. But now that we do have a car we still try to buy every month but what I just started to realize that I feel like I want to start doing it every two weeks just I don't know I just feel like I want to do it every two weeks so we shop at the no frills and like no frills is a place it's a grocery shop like they always have specials and I have an app on my phone that has all of the specials and I'm going to get into that in a later video with you guys so it has Every Thursday the specials come out and it sends me like every different food store so I always get to see the specials first and it's such a cool app that I will get into later but no frills say for example if we um, go there I go there on the specials I only go there on the specials because it's like 30 minutes from where we live and um, so we would spend like spend, spend we would spend like uh, $85 to 100 on a budget and we would get a lot a lot a lot of stuff but the only thing that we don't get from no frills is meat because we get our meat from a different place we buy our meat wholesale so we don't buy it from no frills because it would be more expensive yeah. so we stock up on meat and um yeah. so that's basically everything that i wanted to cover if you guys felt like i missed out on some stuff in this video i only try to cover like on the basic and the main very important stuff like people would look out for but if I did and I you wanted me to answer something else for you guys just leave me a comment down in the comment sections below and like I always say if you guys want to see me do a next video that you want to know more information on um, I will give my personal experience because like I always say I give my personal experience I'm not a lawyer I'm not a professional I'm just giving my personal opinion on so far how I have been in Canada and how it's been working out for me and whenever I feel like I have like a, a better way for somebody else to do it I just present it to you guys so yeah basically that is the end of this video if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and I will see you guys in my next video until then bye